Hello and welcome to a new video about hydraulics. Hydraulics? Haven't I said last time it's the last thing you're gonna hear from me about hydraulics? Yes. However, I decided to make one more video because of this uh, control loop. I briefly mentioned last time this is an application we can do a control loop for positioning something. Huh? I want to make explain this a little bit more in detail, because this is uh, really something which is used pretty often. Eh? So, let's have a look, cut myself, security, safety issue, eh? cut myself. Uh, so, let's have a look what I'm talking about. So, let's say we do have here Double acting cylinder. And we do have here a proportional valve. Okay. This proportional valve is connected to the cylinder. Cylinder MM1, yeah. and here in the middle position we have blocked position everywhere, yeah. and like I said, this is a proportional valve. Middle position with springs operated by proportional magnets. Yeah. One is straight position, the other one is the cross position. See here we go to the tank, that's the pressure line, that's A and B. Okay. And here we have cut the pressure. And we do measure, we do measure uh, the, the location. Okay, we do measure the location of the, of the cylinder. Yeah. So here is location measurement B that's the location B1 okay and here we have the QM1 yeah, the big valve now if we measure a certain position yeah, and we want to reach another position yeah, Let's say we measure this position and we want to reach the desired position would be here. The desired position would be here. This is desired. Wanted position. Yeah? Or position set point, however you want to call it. We are comparing the measurement and the desired position. Yeah? Desired position is coming from somewhere. Yeah? Uh, the desired position, we are comparing those two and right now we need to, we need to get out, yeah? move to the outside. So we have to move the straight connection. Yeah? Pressure, we need here pressure and relief pressure here. So here we do a compare. With whatever comes out of this compare plus or minus, yeah? We multiplicate with proportional factor K, yeah. and so this is compare. So we have a delta X, yeah. and our magnetizing current yeah, here is K multiplied by delta X. If the magnetizing current is positive, I will put it here. If the magnetizing current is negative, I will put it here. Okay? And so, if I am now far away from the desired position, I will move this to full extent and this will start move pretty fast. Okay? If I'm getting closer, this, depending on this gain factor, this proportional factor here, this, the magnetic current will get reduced, we will slowly move in middle position 
Yeah? And this will get slower. And the further I go to the desired position, at exactly the desired position, we will have middle position. Okay? We will probably stop a little bit before, because then it's just leakage oil or something like this. Huh? So this is a position control loop. Huh? Measure position, know where we want to go, depending on the difference. Yeah? Adjust the magnetizing current of the proportional valve and let the let the cylinder move. Okay. Positioning control loop. What if? What if this is a really big cylinder? Yeah. Then we do it with a two-stage hydraulic. Yeah? We do it with a two-stage hydraulic. It looks pretty much like that. Yeah? So there is the cylinder on the top. I will not draw it. However, there is a big proportional valve. Okay. And there's a smaller proportional valve. Both are centralized or both are put to middle position with the help of springs. Yeah. Middle position is blocked at both. Straight position. So they are really looking quite the same way. Here we have the P connector, here we have the tank connector, and of course this is a proportional valve, this is a proportional valve, so I make the stripes here. Here we go to the cylinder, yeah? so this is A and B. Yeah? Here we go to the pressure line, and here we also go to the tank. Yeah? Everything looks the same, but now here We are controlling the position of the main piston, of the piston of the big control valve. This is hydraulically controlled by a smaller control valve. Okay? This might be also inside one valve as well. Huh? Or they are really two separated valves. Just a design. Usually they are two separated one. This is a big one, which already has the mounting plate for the small one at the top. Uh, this is how this is usually looks like. Looks like. And of course, we need here a position measurement. Yeah. And depending on this position measurement. The current of the of the pre-control valve is selected. Yeah? So, and now I draw the cylinder because I have the space up. Let's call it again MM1. There is. Again, the position measurement, and there are the lines which are which go to the two chambers. So, how this is working now? Now we should do it exactly the same. We have a desired position, or draw it simply the, the same. Desired. Yeah? From the proportional factor K, we know now not the magnetizing current already, we know the position of the main control valve shall be in this direction or in this direction. Then we know a desired position of the main control valve, we know where the main control valve is currently located because we measure the position of the piston. Yeah? And 
depending on the difference of this position, measure position and the desired position, we control this control valve. So this is a two-stage approach. So the small control valve is controlling the big control valve and the big control valve is huge enough to have a big hose here yeah, that enough oil can rush through to this to this bigger cylinder. Yeah? Or maybe the cylinder has to travel with a lot of speed, something like this. Yeah? We need a lot of oil, so we need a big, big uh, uh, control valve. And the control valves usually you know, big control valves are usually not, not uh, controlled directly by current because I would need a lot of current simply. Huh? And so I'm selecting pre control, okay? two stage hydraulics. Now, this is also explained. Huh? I hope this is clearer now. And now, this was the last video about hydraulics. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing left to say for me then. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.